In this video, we take a break from our land safari and do some fantastic snorkeling at Diani Beach in Kenya. We'll also tell you what it's like to stay at the Water Lovers Beach Resort and then show a lot more snorkeling. Delicious. We run into a very interesting creature, so make sure to watch long enough to see that. And we'll give you the biggest tip ever about how to deal with those aggressive beach vendors no matter where you stay. It will change how you book hotels. This is part of our True Safari series. I know a lot of our subscribers are snorkelers and scuba divers and may not be all that interested in our recent Kenya safari videos. So I thought we'd break things up a bit and I'll show you some cool snorkeling we did at the very end of our trip to Kenya and also show you this amazing resort we stayed at. <laughs> And this is a beautiful paradise. It is beautiful. You can see your friends are already welcoming you. <laughs> of us monkeys <laughs> with the little baby, the white one. Oh right? yeah. Yeah, so you are lucky you have seen the baby. Normally most of them, <laughs> you just see the adults. Normally the colobus monkeys are very quiet as you can see. But the rest of the monkeys, like the sykes, run here and there in search of food. So whenever you have a snack, uh -huh. they normally come and share oh, with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> share it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Here that's where we have our treatment. And this is our restaurant. And where you see the wooden pole, that's our open office. So our room was very tropical and had great views. And like a lot of things in Kenya, except maybe the safaris, the price of the hotel was very reasonable. Yeah, that's super nice. Well, we made it to Diani. I think I need about a shower or three. And I think I'll burn these safari clothes. Whew. Pancakes. I've never seen rolled pancakes. This is great. This food is great. I'll show more of this incredible resort right after we go snorkeling. Okay, here is the tip on how to deal with aggressive beach vendors. Honestly, they were relentless. Other people will tell you to just say no thank you or other things, and that doesn't work very well. What does work well? is staying somewhere with a private beach area that is off limits to vendors. That's what they had here at Water Lovers and what we recommend for anywhere you stay. They would still come by and wave, but we weren't approached at all. That alone is reason enough to stay here. What's great here at Water Lovers is you have a nice beach and fantastic snorkeling. And the best part is it's right behind the hotel. All we had to do is take a quick boat ride out to the reef. And riding on an interesting handmade boat was fun too. 
No, this is my brother, Juma. Hi, Juma. Yeah, how are you? Good. How's it today? Great. Yeah. Everything is okay? Everything good. Perfect. Good. Now, welcome. We're getting ready to do snorkel at Diani Beach. Hired a boat driver to take us out to the reef. It was interesting. Up, up here? Yeah. Sorry, it was great. You enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty cool boat. To the Masamara, yeah. Lake Navasha, and uh, I'm the Sally. Okay. How is it there? Dusty. Lots no, no, of animal? animal, no fish. No fish yeah. <laughs> the only fish we saw, we ate. It's time for underwater safari. <laughs> Bad jokes aside, I do recommend you all check out our safari videos. We really did get some of the most amazing shots. And it's not that much different than snorkeling or scuba diving. You are basically still searching for unique and interesting creatures. It just happens to be on land instead of underwater. Oh well, man, they move fast. have a video out soon of our hot air balloon safari so make sure to subscribe to get notified when that video comes out. Diani Beach is on the east side of Kenya. It was a short flight from Nairobi and we came here right after visiting the Masai Mara. Diani is just south of Mombasa. So we went snorkeling at a very specific time of day. If you snorkel here, it's best to wait for low tide. Yeah, that's nice. Did you build this? You made this? In fact, at low tide, you could almost walk to the reef. So the waves break out there, and we've been waiting for low tide. Actually, they said you can walk all the way out there when it's at its lowest. So all this will be sand? Or just, that'll be sand? This is the highlight. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, I, I can see the sand now. Shannon makes fun of me of all the ways I try to get myself on camera. <laughs> Stop doing that, looks. I'm surprised how good our guide did without fins. So we bought travel fins just for this trip. And since it wasn't primarily a snorkeling and scuba trip like we normally go on, and since we had to pack fairly light, we bought some very small fins instead of packing our big heavy scuba fins. They fit in our luggage really well, but I was skeptical about how well they would work. But surprisingly, they worked great. I'm not sure I'd trust them for serious scuba diving though. We should have some scuba videos out from Diani Beach here soon. Man, even going halfway around the world, you can't escape these sea urchins. All these different colored starfishes are really cool.
We were excited to get in the water here. The last time we were in the Indian Ocean is when we did a scuba live aboard in Thailand. It's definitely a lot different here than the Caribbean. A lot of different fish we haven't seen for a long time. Normally we don't touch a bunch of this stuff, but our guide kept handing us shells and other things. The most interesting thing we saw is coming up. Man, that eel is awesome. Different than our eel. So it's very low tide right now. We're going to swim out to the sandbar and he's going to pick us up. That's a pretty good snorkeling. A lot of uh, some fish, some coral, a really cool eel. Perfect. Yeah. Monkeys everywhere. Crawl down here with us. Oh man. The monkeys run across these metal roofs in the morning. Don't sleep in here. Today's the latest we've got up, I think it's 7 a.m. This whole trip. <sighs> Whoa, us. Shannon and I don't typically do all-inclusive resorts because we like to check out all the local restaurants. But here at Water Lovers, you had the option of an included breakfast, which they call half board. Full board would include dinner as well and possibly lunch. These are horrible pictures, but dinner here is also incredible. The monkeys can be a little aggressive. So the workers will guard you at breakfast from the monkeys trying to steal your food. The staff carry slingshots. They don't actually use them. Oh man, those are like perfect. But the monkeys know exactly what they are and run away. Kevin is the manager here and he ensures every guest has an absolute fantastic experience while you stay here. Abdallah and the rest of the staff also made our experience unforgettable. Unfortunately, I didn't get a picture of Grace, but she took great care of us and our room. It was awesome getting to know all these great people. This is Kevin, the manager here. He's phenomenal. Yeah, so, so, so is he. He hasn't been that bad, but we've, <laughs> we've been able to make it. Oh, I've been yeah. paying his butt. <laughs> all right, everybody get in there. <laughs> 
This was such a great place to relax after our safaris. We definitely recommend staying at Water Lovers Beach Resort at Diana Beach if you can. We can't wait to go back and I want to thank everyone there for taking such good care of us. Alright, like, subscribe, leave a comment or two, and we have over a hundred videos on our channel. So pick an adventure and let's go do some stuff.